Foresight Realty's Santa Clara construction site is buzzing with activity. The company is more than doubling the size of their data center operation, from 225 to almost 500,000 square feet. The company is not alone in basing their operation in Santa Clara, which plays host to easily the largest number of data centers in the Bay Area. But what is a data center? In industry distinct to the digital age, these facilities house computer systems and data, which more often than not means information kept on the internet. And as online traffic grows by 50% each year and cloud computing becomes more popular, all sorts of individuals, groups, governments, and companies need to keep their data somewhere. And many of them choose to do so with companies located in Santa Clara. Each red dot represents a data center. Many are placed within a pretty small radius. Why Santa Clara? Assistant City Manager Carol McCarthy says it has to do with their municipally owned utility, Silicon Valley Power, which offers low rates for businesses due to it being publicly owned. We, our popularity started in the late uh, 1990s, and it's, it's interesting, but data centers are uses with very high energy requirements, and because the city of Santa Clara owns and operates its own electric utility, because it provides the cheapest and among the most reliable power in California and the nation, we remain a very popular place for data centers. Um, there is no um, additional revenue generated. It's all really to run a very efficient operation. We have been able to keep our costs down. We've been in the utility business since the late 1800s. But even though Santa Clara can keep their rates low, their data center customers still leave a big carbon footprint. A study by the Uptime Institute, a group dedicated to greater data center efficiency, indicates that current CO2 emissions of U.S. data centers are greater than the total emissions of Argentina or the Netherlands, and those numbers are only growing. Gary Shambet is a Stanford researcher in the Electrical Engineering Department. His work involves reducing the amount of power required by data centers through more efficient data transfer methods. Attacking this data center energy consumption issue is really a green technology because it accounts for a large fraction of our energy usage. A few percent is actually quite a bit. Uh, for example, solar energy production in the United States alone is only about 0.04% um, of energy production. And unless there's a giant breakthrough there, that's not improving greatly. Um, however, if you could just slash data center usage by 10, 20, 50%, then you're actually doing a lot for the environment in terms of CO2 emissions and in terms of, uh, in general, coal burning. But the advances in either efficiency or conservation haven't yet caught up to the rate of expansion. As internet use increases, more and more data centers will set up shop in Santa Clara or expand their existing operations, including Coresight, who at least promises to conserve energy through techniques like using outside air rather than air conditioning to cool their machinery, which can generate quite a bit of heat. For the Peninsula Press and the Stanford Graduate Program in Journalism, this is Eric Silk.